Hey there guys, I just wanted to show you in this video our waterfall down there at the far end. I just want to show you you don't have to have a gradually declining water line to feed that water wheel. How I did it is that culvert right there, I took a bag, 80 pound bag of concrete, I took a garbage bag, I put the pipe, this is a four inch flex drain pipe, no holes, not, not perforated. So I put a four inch pipe through that, that bag and I put the bag up with concrete and threw it in that end of that uh, end of that culvert. So it's basically got like a five inch dam, six inch dam that's in the bottom of that culvert that's forcing water into this pipe. As you can see, this pipe is not you know, level. This pipe is not level. It goes up and down. So from down there at the water wheel, right down there, there's a 100 foot pipe. So from the water wheel to here, it's probably about a three and a half, four foot drop. But as long as I'm not going above that culvert at the end, let's pour some water into this pipe and fill in the pipe. Let's take you down and show you the, the flow on the, oops, filled my foot full of water, my shoe. So down here at this end, you can see this four inch pipe. It's actually going uphill before it actually gets on the flume even. But it's flowing. It's four inch pipe and it is damn near full. Right now it's probably pumping 120 gallons a minute. Not pumping, just flowing. Just gravity fed. Let's turn around along. That's moving that wheel. Obviously, there's nothing hooked to the wheel yet. Just the gears, but the motor's not on it. I got a few things I got to fix on that, on the flume. But it's spinning at about three and a half seconds per rotation, which puts us, you know, if it was three seconds, it'd be 20 rotations. I'd say it's 18 rotations a minute. And then after I do all my gearing here on the motor, depending on which motor it is, we have pretty good turn on the motor down here. Anyway, just want to show you guys that that pipe does not have to be a gradual slope down. It can do whatever in this in this kind of a predicament. If you're doing a micro hydro forced air, then yeah, it probably can't have air or nothing in it. But this works just fine this way. I also had some people tell me that I should move the flume past the middle of the wheel. Because I had it back, I don't know, six inches, maybe a foot back towards the back of the of it. And the idea that it would just catch the water in the buckets and go. But I actually had it when I'd started up. Sometimes the sucker would go backwards because I had it too far back. So I moved it forward. I'm going to be really curious to see how it does when I put any load on it. Um, but it is spinning faster. And they say it'll give it more torque with that water dropping that much farther into the, into the buckets. But it's definitely spinning the fastest ever spun. Yeah, I'd be interested to put a motor on it next week.